Chapter I, Preliminary, 1, Short Title, Extent and Commencement, 1, This Act may be called the Sale of Goods Act, 1930, 2, It extends to the whole of India, 3, It shall come into force on the first day of July, 1930, 2, Definitions, In this Act, unless there is anything repugnant in the subject or context, 1, Buyer means a person who buys or agrees to buy goods, 2, Delivery means voluntary transfer of possession from one person to another. Three goods are said to be in a deliverable state when they are in such state that the buyer would under the contract be bound to take delivery of them. 4. Document of title to goods includes a bill of lading, dock warrant, warehouse keeper's certificate, wharfinger's certificate, railway receipt, multimodal transport document, warrant or order for the delivery of goods and any other document used in the ordinary course of business as proof of the possession or control of goods or authorizing or purporting to authorize, either by endorsement or by delivery, the possessor of the document to transfer or receive goods thereby represented. 5. Fault means wrongful act or default. 6. Future goods means goods to be manufactured or produced or acquired by the seller after the making of the contract of sale. 7. Goods means every kind of movable property other than actionable claims and money, and includes stock and shares, growing crops, grass, and things attached to or forming part of the land which are agreed to be severed before sale or under the contract of sale. 8. A person is said to be insolvent who has ceased to pay his debts in the ordinary course of business, or cannot pay his debts as they become due, whether he has committed an act of insolvency or not. 9. Mercantile agent means a mercantile agent having in the customary course of business as such agent authority either to sell goods, or to consign goods for the purposes of sale, or to buy goods or to raise money on the security of goods. 10. Price means the money consideration for a sale of goods. 11. Property means the general property in goods, and not merely a special property. 12. Quality of goods includes their state or condition. 13. Seller means a person who sells or agrees to sell goods. 14. Specific goods means goods identified and agreed upon at the time a contract of sale is made and 15 expressions used but not defined in this Act and defined in the Indian Contract Act, 1872, 9 of 1872, have the meaning assigned to them in that Act. 3. Application of provisions of Act 9 of 1872. The unrepealed provisions of the Indian Contract Act, 1872, save in so far as they are inconsistent with the express provisions of this Act shall continue to apply to contracts for the sale of goods, 